In this video, we're going to look at Pro Tools hardware settings. The hardware setup dialog box is where you go to set the default sample rate, optical format, clock source, and various other kinds of settings for your particular audio interface. To get to hardware setup, we're going to choose Setup Hardware, and the hardware setup dialog will open. Then you will see your attached peripherals here in the peripherals list on the left hand side. Now I'm running a Pro Tools HD system, so this window has a lot more information in it than you would typically see on a system running a host-based interface, like a 002, a 003, an MBOX, something like that. But the basic settings here on the left-hand side will be similar. First, what we want to look at is the default sample rate. Now because I don't have a session open, I can simply click on this sample rate pop-up menu, and I can choose a default sample rate. What this does is set the sample rate for any new sessions that you create. If you happen to already have a session open, this sample rate value will reflect the settings for your current session, and you won't be able to change it. Another thing we can set here is the clock source for the system. Now these options will vary quite a bit depending on the hardware that you have connected. On my particular system, the options include internal, optical SPDIF, word clock at 48K, and word clock at 96K. Again, your options will vary based on the interface that you have connected. Certain interfaces, including the MBOX Pro and the 002 and 003 families, include a foot switch jack on the back panel. If you happen to be using one of those interfaces, you can select the foot switch function from this hardware setup dialog as well. If you happen to be running third-party hardware, then your hardware setup window is going to look a little bit different. In this case, I would choose the desired peripheral from the peripherals list, and then I would click Launch Setup App. This will launch the control panel for your specific audio interface. In this case, because I've selected the Pro Tools Aggregate I.O., the Launch Setup App button is going to open the Mac's Audio MIDI Setup Utility. And then I can use the Audio Devices window in Audio MIDI Setup to configure my interface options. 